Purple Yarnivore. I am here today to do my part two video on the 2022 Pocky One Chip Challenge. As you can see, I'm just fine. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of give you more details about what happened, what I was feeling, what it was like, and how I survived. <laughs> so first off, I will never do it again, okay? Um, but it was an experience that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so after, after I put the chip in my mouth, okay, well, I put it in and I'm chewing it, right? Now, this chip, it's a thick chip, and it's got a lot of powder on it. And if it was just an ordinary tortilla chip, okay, it might have been easier to chew it. But this was a chip that was supposedly like a tortilla chip, a corn tortilla chip, I think. And it was just very thick and very very dense and there was so much powder caked on it so when I was trying to chew it it was like chewing dense crunchy cardboard and it just it's like I couldn't stop chewing you just chew and chew and chew and you feel like you're gonna get that signal to swallow but you kind of don't and <laughs> you have to force yourself to swallow this chip okay and it was hot at first okay so my first bite of it it was hot but it wasn't like I'm gonna die hot only it's like a progressive thing okay so it was hot my eyes were like Sh shedding tears like waterfalls coming out of my eyes <gasps> and the more I chewed it the progressively hotter it got and the thing is it's not just heat okay it is searing pain <laughs> And there is no, nothing, if you've never done this challenge before, there is nothing that can prepare you for what the sensory, the sensory trauma that you will experience in eating this chip. I have to say, this was trauma. This was trauma to my uh, the complete upper half of my body and I was crazy to do this because I have um, gastrointestinal like I get very bad heartburn sometimes acid reflux okay so I forgot about my acid reflux when I decided to do the challenge but here's something crazy about it y'all is I didn't get heartburn from it, which is, I drink a cup of coffee in the morning and my tummy's a fire, okay? I ate this chip and I had a lot of warmth in there, y'all, but I did not have heartburn, which is kind of crazy, okay? Um, I did have a little bit of a, a gut ache. A few hours later and I just took some Tylenol and I was all right so I stick the chip in my mouth it's so dry and it, it just it's like you're drooling but you feel at the same time like you have no saliva in your mouth and it's just like caking onto your teeth everything inside and the thing is it's almost like the powder sits on your gag reflex 
and there's so there's it feels like there's a lump there and the hiccups oh my god like I got hiccups and that was the most bizarre thing but as soon as the heat started going away as soon as I was like done chewing the hiccups only lasted so long and it was a direct effect from eating that chip from the peppers the two hottest peppers in the world combined into one chip. And let me tell you, it tasted so disgusting. It was like eating dirt that was on fire, okay? They should have put some nacho cheese in there. Maybe it would have been easy to swallow, but it was just straight up pepper powder and no flavor to it there was no flavor okay and my I was chewing it and chewing it like it was so heavy and um there was just this heaviness and the fire it was it was like I swallowed hellfire all right I did not go to hell. Hell went into me. <laughs> Blazing, searing, fire, pain. The pain was excruciating and unbearable, okay? I felt like I should have been breathing flames. It was so intense. And... It was so fast and so intense that my head started to float. I was literally transcending. <laughs> I was feeling like I was about to have an out-of-body experience. Like I was just floating. My head was floating. My head was floating like a balloon. It felt like my head was full of helium. I'm serious. Oh my goodness. What else can I say? The words. There are no words. I'm, I'm pretty sure that for about five seconds, I met God and we shook hands. And he says, you're not staying here. <laughs> um, it did. It felt like I swallowed hell. And the fires of hell were burning inside my mouth, my throat. My ears were pulsing, y'all. My ears were like pulsing I could feel a pulsing in my ears and even though after I ate it for like hours my skin felt so warm like I felt so hot in my skin um, but when I touched my skin it felt cool so it was like this really strange dynamic and I just don't even know the words um once the fire set it settled down and I could drink something that milk okay now I'm a skim milk person and I had one percent because the store I went to was out of uh, skim milk, but it did, it phased it none, okay? It phased it none. I was drinking and it had no impact, it gave no, zero, zero relief to, to the feeling and the pain, y'all, I can't even 
describe the pain. I felt like I was on the edge, on the edge of something powerful. And this chip is powerful. Y'all, I, I didn't know if I was going to throw up, if I was going to keep hiccuping. Um, everything inside my body cleared. There is not a bit of, and excuse me, I swear to God, there is no mucus left in my body. And it had such a thermal effect. I don't know how I haven't lost like a hundred pounds. It is thermal, you all. It is a volcano. It is burning from the inside without eruption. <laughs> it is a smoldering volca volcano inside your body. And my head, and that the, it was so instant, like being from zero, and then your body is pushed to its limit in such a short period of time and so fast, okay, that after eating that chip, after everything calmed down, I was exhausted. I was literally exhausted and I felt like I could go to bed and sleep the rest of the day. Excuse me, I need to take... I had plans, okay, to go grocery shopping with a friend and I had to call and cancel because I I was in confusion like the rest of the day. And 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 just by the way, I know some of you have commented. Yes. When nature called the next day, <laughs> this morning not gonna give details on that but you know you know that if a fire goes in it's got to come out anyway it, it I was okay y'all and um, I just <laughs> I, I watched my video and I'm like laughing during it and and um yeah the hiccups were uncontrollable it's so funny that i got the hiccups it's so funny that i got the hiccups they just started instantly and i couldn't hardly talk every time i try to talk and say something and give some dialogue while I'm like ex having an experience, I would get a hiccup and I couldn't talk. So yeah, that was more annoying than anything because I just wanted to say so much while I was having the experience. And then it got to the pain, to the point, I mean, where the pain was so bad, I had to stop the video. Y'all, I just, I had to go and I had to clean my mouth and my teeth out and everything. It was just, I could not tolerate it. I mean, I've never experienced a pain like that inside my mouth, my throat, my chest. It was the only thing that wasn't bothered too much was my stomach. Oh, and check this out too. About an hour later, an hour or two later, I was like starving. I was so hungry. And it just seemed like anything I ate the rest of the day never satiated my hunger. I was constantly hungry you know what I had and just and right before I had that chip I was taken out to breakfast and I had a big breakfast and you know what there was so much fire on that chip I think it turned my breakfast to 
ash and left nothing in my stomach. And I was so hungry, y'all. I was so hungry. And it was so crazy. Anyway, um, it's, I'm glad that I did not have to work, okay, yesterday. I'm glad it was my day off and that I did it early enough in the day that I could spend the rest of the day literally recovering. It is so triggering now when I, like a traumatic trigger to hear somebody hiccup. But yeah, it's like I was trying to like catch my breath via hiccups. It was so crazy. Now, if you have asthma, if you have any sort of stomach issues, if you have any heart condition, any blood pressure condition, if you have any health ailments at all, Never, never, never try this. I had someone here with me in case I needed to go to the hospital. But it was such an enlightening experience. <coughs> Excuse me. It was an amazing experience. It showed me The pain a human mouth can take without dying. And when I had a Pepsi later on that day, even into today, like, the only thing I could taste was things that were sweet. So I couldn't taste the flavor of my Pepsi, but I could taste the syrupy sweetness. And nothing tasted tasted right yesterday and even today my Pepsi did not taste right so it's it's you could you need the rest of the day to recover and that the second day you're still having side effects but it doesn't hold you back from anything so I did go to work today you know and I was fine but yeah it was, it was indescribable. And even though I'm trying to describe it, you can never use any words in the English di dictionary to prepare somebody else to take this challenge. And um, today, I, after work, I went on YouTube and I saw a lot of the other 2022 Pocky challenges and it, a lot of people got the hiccups from it. Some people have um, other issues, you know, it gives warning issues that, you know, you might have breathing problems or whatever from it. It is no joke, y'all. Anyway. I think I did the best I could to describe it. It's such a big chip. It's a dense chip. It's very dry. They don't add like any sort of nacho cheese or any sort of flavoring to it whatsoever. It's just dark fire, okay? And it's very dry and it's hard to swallow and it's, it tastes disgusting so um and but it really push, pushes you to your limits and it really I swear it gave me a whole new lease on life y'all I feel like I came close to death even though I didn't <laughs> I feel like I had an out of body experience even though I didn't but I definitely was floating the rest of the day. And yeah, it's just, I'm hot when my skin is cold. And it just, 
it's an experience. That's the best word. It's an experience. And I just could not handle it. I could not handle it, y'all. Because it just... All your senses are focused on all up in on the pain, the pain, the searing, searing pain. It wasn't just hot. It was actual pain, unimaginable pain in my mouth. Now, there are some people out there who can eat that chip and be like, yeah, no big deal. Because, you know. They have no nerve endings, but for me, never again, y'all. But it was fun to do the challenge and share that with you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now. Um, y'all, take care. Stay safe. Do acts of kindness. Be a compassionate and empathetic person. Take care of each other. And do it for the sake of humanity. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.